Hello everyone, it's me Jebby from Unique Tutorials. Today in this video we'll find out if we can use IDM after the expiry of the trial period in Windows computer. So without further more delay, let's begin. So if you have not downloaded or installed the IDM or you can call it the Internet Download Manager software on your respective Windows computer then just go to its official website by searching it in the Google and you install it after that so let us try to open any website say i will download one file to check if we can use idm after the expiry of the trial period in windows computer so i have a idm which has got expired just by today so let us find if we i can download using the idm which has been expired from the trial period so let me download this one file so let me click on it so you can see your IDM so you can clearly see here uh, file mentioning IDM has not been registered for 30 days trial period is over as you can see it's saying over right and you can see here my file has been already ready to download so let me click on the start download finally you can see the download has been completed so let me go to the folder to check out if there is a file or not so finally you can see here I have already downloaded the file that means even if the IDM trial period has been expired as you can see already IDM has not been registered for 30 days trial period is over still you can use your IDM without any problem but it's but the thing you may find irritating is that this notification will always get pop up whenever you are going to download using the IDM which has been expired after 30 days. So if you want to remove this notifications then you can purchase this license from the its official websites. So finally it has been confirmed that we can use IDM after the expiry of the trial period in Windows computers. So if you find this video tutorial useful, please click on the thumbs like button and if you're new to our channel, click on the subscribe button and lastly, thanks for watching.